Hi everybody, uh, so I'm Ed Morris and my specialty is silviculture and uh, a little bit of fire management. Uh, I've been with the Canadian Institute of Forestry for over 30 years uh, since I started working uh, in this area in forestry. I've been a member and I've come out on this trail uh, that you're joining us on today for probably 25 years. So it's been a lot of fun. So uh, today what I really want to talk about is change and these are stops 13 and 14 which specifically talk about fire. But uh, we all probably know that, that British Columbia is really a province of change. For millennial we had these you know uh, tectonic plates colliding and pushing up the mountains so you can think on that kind of scale. You can think about the glacier that was here eight to ten thousand years ago and as it melted created a huge lake and as the ice dam broke down by Williams Lake it all flowed out in a big rush much like uh, pulling the plug on a bathtub and it created if you did if you're walking the trail you'll have come up from the willow river up the old river bank to the the top where it would be a sandy beach which would be hard to tell now because of all the forest that's invaded so what you see around you now you think is a forest it's been here forever but in fact it hasn't since the glaciers retreated this forest has probably been here uh, a, a number of times uh, because these are forests that are fire originated. So since the glaciers retreat, uh, we've had forest development in this cycle of uh, growth, uh, disturbance, and the disturbance here is burning. And we call it a fire climax forest. Uh, and so the fire burns, uh, it seeds, it regenerates and regrows. So this stop is specifically to sort of point out these aspects of fire and how they affect things on the landscape. Now, we tend to think about these forests, and, and I said I've been coming here for over 25 years, and it seems like this forest never changes. But it has. Uh, it's just not in my time scale. 25 years is nothing for a forest. Uh, this forest we're standing in now originated in 1961, and we know that because there was a grove fire burn. Started by berry pickers, if you know the area very well, uh, down by Buckburn Lake on the uh, Willow Kale Forest Service Road. So quite far south of here, it burned all of Tabor Mountain uh, and burned over into this area. And so if you're of a certain age, you'll know, you'll remember the Kelowna fire. This was our Kelowna fire. Or if you're a little younger, you might have heard about the Fort Mac fire. Uh, and this was our Fort Mac fire. Just luckily for Prince George, the, this grove barn didn't burn into Prince George. It spread to the east. And so we're standing pretty close to the edge of the fire right now. Uh, and if you have a look, uh, just on the ground next to me is the old fire guard that went in in 1961 as part of this uh, fire. So the, all of this area was, what we would probably say, is destroyed by fire. But ecologists will say it was renewed by fire. Uh, so, uh, so the forest regrew and uh, you're now standing in a forest that's slightly over 50 years. Uh, if you're, you know, you're, if you're coming around the trail in order of signs, you came out of uh, stations 10, uh, 11, 12, and those forests there are older. They're probably approaching 200 years of age um, because the fire didn't burn that far yet. <laughs> but someday it will. Uh, we know fires are caused uh, probably about half by people and half by lightning and people have been here uh, again for a long, long, long time, thousands of years. Uh, and so the fire has always been a big part of this landscape. So as you uh, go forward from here, you'll notice the forest is much younger and even fairly open uh, as it's been disturbed. And, uh, you know, if you really notice and you think you may notice that there was some beetle uh, activity and beetles play an integral part with wildfire uh, and with disturbance. There we go. Enjoy your tour.